Hey Natural Nirvanas and welcome back to another late night video. Um, so I'm in a different location, different setting. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting, it's not the best, but I definitely wanted to get um, this video out for you guys. I have received this question um, a couple of times and this is actually something that I wanted to discuss before receiving the question that I had planned to discuss and that is how I was able to retain uh, the length of my hair while combing out my locks. So I'm going to be sharing the secrets with you guys as far as how I was able to do so. So let me just start off by saying this. When I started my locks, I had no intention on ever combing my locks out. Um, honestly, I did not know when I started locks that you could comb locks out. I thought that the only way that you could get rid of locks was to cut your hair. I just wanted to let that be known. I had no idea that, that was even an option. So it wasn't like I was preparing my hair to comb them out or preparing my locks, you know, to be combed out. So I didn't know that at all, nor was that my intention. So. I didn't know that I wanted to comb out my locks until probably several months before I, comb, I actually combed them out is when I was like, you know, toying around with the idea of that. just wanted to um, give you guys that little background information first. The biggest factor that attributed to me retaining my length was actually how I took care of my hair while I had locks. That is the biggest thing. While I had my locks, you guys know that I was very low maintenance. Um, I did not re get my hair retwisted often. So there were some times when I went longer stretches um, between my retwists. So sometimes it would be, you know, several months and then sometimes I had them closer together, like maybe six weeks or five weeks. It just really depended on um, the needs of my hair and the desires that I wanted for my hair at the time. So I was very low maintenance. I did not um, do frequent retwists. When I got my retwists done, um, only the top of my locks was actually twisted. She did not go all the way down my lock and just be palm rolling all the way down my locks. Also, I did not retwist my hair in between times. So the only time that my locks were retwisted was actually when I went to get them professionally serviced. So I did not retwist my locks. I didn't retwist my hairline. I didn't do any of that in between. Um, I also um, allowed my hair to just embrace the frizz. So I moisturized my hair um, on a daily basis. I used water on my hair um, and I, you know, spritzed my hair and I just allowed my hair to just poof up, to just be frizzy. I embraced the frizz. I never tried to tame it per se or anything like that. Um, and also I did not use products on my locks. So that's another thing. I was very minimal with what I use on my locks. So um, when I got my locks retwisted, um, that my stylist at the time, she had a all natural um, product. It's not anything that you can buy in the stores or anything like that. It was actually from a private company. All the ingredients I was comfortable with for using on my hair. Um, so she would put that on my roots and twist you know, twist my hair. As far as myself, like I said, I didn't use products. I did use oil on my hair. Um, I will oil my scalp. My favorite oil to use was jojoba oil. I would just apply that um, to my scalp as needed. And then I would take, you know, the rest and just, you know, put it throughout um, my locks. It was a very light oil. Um, I like the smell of it. Um, I like the shine that it gave to my hair. And I like that it was not heavy. So my hair didn't feel saturated, you know, or heavily coated or anything like that. Um, but it helped to seal in the moisture of my hair. And it just helped to keep my hair strong. Here I washed my locks only as needed. I didn't go like long stretches like months or anything like that but I would say I would wash my locks. Um, it just depended because earlier in the beginning of my hair journey I washed um, my hair more I would say probably more frequently. Probably I would say in my first year and then um, after my first year I started washing my locks. The more they matured I washed them um, less and so I would say I would probably wash them then it could be you know twice a month um, probably usually like twice a month once a month also so it just really depended I was not washing my locks you know um, every few days you know once a week or anything like that um, so I wash my hair as needed and so it just really depends on your lifestyle 
I don't go to the gym. Um, I don't sweat a lot. You know, it's it just really depends on your lifestyle. And also, I was not putting products in my hair. So because I was not putting products in my hair, I did not have, you know, um, build up and gunk in my hair, anything like that. So it just really depends. Also, another important thing was I did not do styles to my hair. So I had my locks for 21 months, I believe. Um, or 20 months something like that I can't remember exactly and during that time I only styled my locks styled really twice and when I say styled because one of those I don't really count like that as a style that much because it was literally just me taking a few locks and I kind of just twist had it like a half twist stuck a bobby pin in there and that was it so if you want to call that a style I guess it is a style but it was nothing that was a you know hard manipulation and the second one I did was actually for my baby shower um, with my daughter and I did it myself as well I had just pinned up my locks into some kind of random style but it, it turned out nice and I took that style down the same night so um <laughs> I was not playing about it I just wanted you know something different or like formal um kind of look because of the dress that I was wearing um for my shower I wore my locks down 99.9% .9 of the time so my locks were always um down and if I put my locks up um you guys can see in my lock video where I discuss the five uh, things that could be damaging your locks um, in that video where I have this band on you guys have you'll see it in the video but in that video if you guys remember that where I had that yellow band on that's what I used to pull my hair back it was not cotton or anything like that so it was nothing that was pulling or snagging my hair um, it had it was very low manipulation I didn't have to you know pull my hair tight it was, it was just like a, a band that I would just pull my hair back that way um and so that was that and you know it was very low manipulation so low manipulation I left my hair alone that is the key I really believe that me having um low manipulation with my hair me not using um products you know in my locks just keeping it very simple very basic um, and using just natural ingredients like you know the oils also um, I did not bleach my hair um, I did color my locks twice I did do it myself that was that I wasn't coloring my hair you know every single month or every several weeks um, I did not apply you know bleach to my hair I wasn't doing all of those different things and I honestly believe that the less you do the better so if you are thinking about combing out your locks really look and assess your journey thus far you know ask yourself questions have I been damaging my lock if you are constantly you know bleaching your locks you know you're constantly you know twisting your locks I know some people who literally would get retwist once a week and I also actually saw a youtuber who said I won't mention her name but she said that she retwisted her locks every day and I'm not lying I'm not making this up I watched the video and she retwisted her locks every day now she still had hair on her head but you know for me that is just beyond extreme and so if you are doing things like that if you're wearing like updos all the time or you know you're getting uh, braided um, do's and it's like causing a lot of tension and your hairline is maybe starting to recede or you have thin or weak spots in your hair those are things to think about because that is also going to reflect when you take your locks out your hair has to be strong so you have to really see okay are my locks strong have I been taking care of my hair um, also what you eat your diet you know um, during that time too I was making sure I was always drinking a lot of water recently I have been kind of slacking on my water game so I'm trying to actually get that back up but I would drink a lot of water so I took care of my hair and I was very minimal with my hair very minimal I left my hair alone <laughs> so I really believe that that was the first thing because um my hair I allowed my hair to grow and I was able to retain the length of my hair that way um, by taking care of my hair while it was in locks so if you are not taking care of your hair while it's in locks your hair 
it's not going to look good if you decide to comb it out and it will not be healthy so that is definitely something to consider the big secret that you guys may want to know when i was combing out my locks how did i keep the length that i grew while i had my locks okay so i am going to share this with you guys now what i'm going to share with you guys goes against mostly all the videos that i have seen on combing out locks when i was about to comb out my locks i watched videos on people combing out locks and the very thing that they did i did the opposite and i really believe that what i did the opposite of what others were doing is what allowed me to keep my length so um let me say this before i share it with you guys my locks were probably what guys i would think like right up here or so um they looked longer when they were wet and you know they shrunk up a little bit so my locks are probably like right here i think but my locks were not long i didn't consider my locks to be long and from what i started out as my locks were up here they definitely did grow um but i considered my locks to be like a medium length you know they were a decent length now my hair now um, it has some curl too, but my hair is mid back length now. Let's see. Try to, like I said, I did have my ends bumped. Um, but yeah, so when I pulled my hair down, it's right there. I can feel my bra strap. So um, it's below my bra strap. Okay, so yeah, my hair is mid back length and that is with trims as well but the point that i wanted to show you guys was that my locks were shorter than the what my hair is now as a loose natural okay so now with you guys knowing that and seeing that i'm going to share with you guys what it is um the secret it's not a secret i'm i'm definitely going to share this with you guys but this is the big thing that i did differently from um, others and so that was when I was seeing other people comb out their locks they would say um, you know okay here's my lock let me I'm gonna cut off the ends of my locks because you know the hair is old I'm gonna need a trim anyway and it's gonna make the process go along easier or faster for me so I would see people with long locks and they would snip you know like an inch off two inches off and they would say you know that was gonna be the hair I was gonna trim anyway some people would slip off slip off way more than that um, but that was like the average that I would see they would snip it off and then they would say okay this makes it so much easier I'm just gonna go ahead and comb it out comb them out so y'all you don't want to do that if you are combing out your locks or if you are thinking about combing out your locks and you want to retain the length of your hair or the majority of the length of your hair, do not, I repeat, do not cut the ends of your locks off. Okay, so I'm going to explain why. When I took my lock, okay, and I was using the end of a, a rat tail comb, I was using the one with the metal pick, and I was using water and conditioner to comb out my locks, I know that some people, I even had someone leave a comment and said that water and conditioner made people's hair fall out when they combed out their locks and that's why their hair was short. I used water and conditioner to comb on my locks. So I didn't have any issues with that. Um, now, I after I saturated my lock, okay, so I saturated my lock with water and conditioner, tons of conditioner. I made sure my lock was super wet. And as I was picking my lock gently, as I'm picking it, I noticed that as I was picking it, my hair began to unravel. Okay, so when I would pick it out, all of a sudden I got all of this length. So my lock started appearing longer the more that I picked it out. Now, my this is just my opinion of what I believe happened. While wow, because my hair is extremely curly you guys have seen my hair in its natural state so i have super curly hair my hair okay let's just act like my hair is like curly right now so my hair when it was in the lock okay it would curl up 
okay my hair would start curling up and that is how my ends would seal so my hair started sealing my ends started sealing um because my hair shriveled up it shrunk okay i experienced shrinkage you guys know that throughout the locking process the, as your hair starts to mature you know your hair is going to shrink up first before you start seeing the length so my hair would shrink up let me see so my the ends of my hair would shrink um as well as seal so during that process my hair had to you know shrink and seal that caused my locks to form tighter together that caused the ends to form tighter together so my hair um was not going to appear as long as it was while it was in locks so when you take your lock and you cut that end off you are cutting all of that length so like i said when i took you know my rat tail comb and i'm combing through my hair starts unraveling like my hair literally starts unfolding it was like my hair just was unfolding and it was just able to actually um elongate itself to its length as opposed to kind of curling up and just shrinking up um to form this sealed end in my lock so that is the big secret if you guys want to comb out your locks or if you are thinking about combing your locks or it may be something in the future if you ever decide the keys healthy hair you know take care of your hair um low manipulation and to not cut the ends of your locks and that is it so um i hope that this video was helpful to you all i hope that it was informative if you did find it helpful and informative please give it a thumbs up share it with someone i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any more questions you can leave them in the comment section below and i will either respond via comment or i will do a video response to your question so thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will see you in the next video Mwah. bye guys